Welcome in. What mods are you going for this time? Is that it? Come back next time, you hear? Ready for combat. I shall follow your orders. Fall into despair! 
Let me explain. My client requested memorabilia from this store. So I asked the store clerk who informed me they aren't available for purchase. They can only be obtained by winning tickets through playing. That's right. Generally, a customer would need to play Soul Hounds 3 for around five days to win enough tokens. Another way is the manager challenge. If you win, you can get it right away. But it's considerably more difficult than saving up for five days. Oh, how troublesome. I don't want to invest five days into this. And just getting familiar with the game will take some time. Uh, especially since I've never played arcade games. I can't believe you've never played a video game. Uh, well, it isn't an essential skill for a maid, and our housekeeping service doesn't involve playing arcade games. That's understandable. People have different strong suits. I'm the opposite. I'm not good with housework, and doing laundry leaves me exhausted. So I just leave it to the self-service washing machine downstairs. Uh, hold on. Not doing something doesn't equate to being bad at it. Are you implying I'm avoiding arcade games because I'm bad at them? Huh? That's not what I meant. I've made up my mind. I want to get that memorabilia today. You mentioned a way to win it immediately just now. The manager challenge, was it? That's right. It's our special event here. Essentially, you just have to battle against me in Soul Hounds 3. If you win, you'll get the memorabilia right away. What? I heard someone say manager challenge. Is someone here to challenge Asha? Ah, let me introduce you. This here is Jonah, and he's sort of a regular here and a big fan of the manager challenge. No one's ever beaten Asha since the opening of this store. Please let me watch. I'm sure I can learn a lot from it. Asha might be good, but the manager challenge is worth a shot if you want to win the memorabilia fast. I think the same. My goal is to complete my service, so anything is worth a go. It feels a bit odd to be challenged by someone new to video games, but as long as it brings business, I guess it's a good thing. So, welcome to Godfinger, and I accept your challenge. All right, we've arrived at the Battle Arena. Both contestants are ready. It's the Soul Hounds Queen, uh, I mean, Asha versus Rena. <sighs> Is the commentary really necessary every time someone comes here to challenge me? Don't mind the kid, just enjoy the game. The rules are pretty lenient. If you manage to overtake me in depth at any point in the game, even if only for a split second, you win. Oh, please, don't think of me as a mere novice. I'm the type who gets excited at the mere sight of a vacuum cleaner. I just have to picture myself cleaning up clutter using the puppy bang boo in the game to turn this into my area of expertise. I look forward to a great performance from both contestants. Get ready, insert your coins, and go! Wow! Asha is off to a strong start, pulling ahead by several levels within the first three seconds. Let's see how Rena's doing. She's pretty impressive, too. Look at how fast she moves her fingers. She doesn't look like a first-timer at all. Rena's soul hound is wielding the vacuum cleaner with incredible speed. It's just a blur. It's like my grandma when she chases me with a broom. Rena stands a good chance of winning at this rate. Just kidding. Why did you clear the entire row of blocks? You don't have to do that. Just keep moving downward. Uh, what are you talking about? I can't leave rubbish lying around. If I don't clean it up, my vacuum will cry. I think she's playing a different game. A perfect example of playing in your own way. Rena is progressing slowly, but everything's so clean. I've never seen such a clear screen in Soul Hounds 3. Not even when Asha is playing. Hmm, I can't pretend I didn't hear that. It seems unfair if I win like this. Fine then. Asha has suddenly stopped advancing. What? She started clearing the blocks by Rose too. She's smashing Rena's pace and energy effortlessly. Oh my, 
You may seem gentle on the surface, but you're actually very competitive. <laughs> right back at you. Wait just a second. Am I seeing this right? The gap is closing. Though it's slow, the two are getting closer and closer. Give it your all, Asha. The moment you push yourself through your limits, you'll reach your true potential. Rina speaks like the ultimate villain in a movie, despite falling behind. As the battle intensifies, both contestants have kicked into high gear. Uh, huh? What? The screen froze, and the buttons aren't responding. Uh, it's almost like when a bamboo crashes. Ah! Hold the competition. Let me see. The screen froze, so I'm going to restart the machine. Wait, why is the screen still on after I've unplugged the machine? Could it be broken? Oh, this is bad. My boss is going to be angry, and my pay's going to get deducted. Hey, look! The score on the screen, 9,999,999. That's a lot of nines! That's definitely higher than the current record. It's probably due to the crash. Strings of numbers like this can often be seen on the screen of a crashed game. But didn't the rules say... The rules say that if your depth overtakes mine at any point, you win. Wait a sec. Are you saying I've lost? I won't accept that kind of loophole. I agree, Miss Asha. I can't consider this a win for me either. Mm, let's leave the competition aside and focus on the machine for now. I can feel a slight electromagnetic reaction lingering on the joystick. Oh, perhaps I was so focused on our competition that I exerted too much force and broke the machine. I'll compensate accordingly. Huh? D do you mean you're willing to buy the machine? If the extent of the damage indeed warrants selling the entire machine, then of course. I'll arrange the purchase once I've finished handling my current tasks. Finding a way to get the memorabilia is still my top priority. Since I failed to pass the manager challenge, I'll have to spend five days. Wait, wait, wait. Five days until... Ah, oh, I mean, congratulations! You've passed the manager challenge! Look at all those nines on the screen! I admit defeat. Admit defeat? This is the demise of the Soul House Queen! There's no need to go shouting it in the streets, and demise is hardly the right word. Ah, right. Here's your prize. A commemorative Godfinger figurine. Please, take it. Now, can we talk about buying the arcade machine? <sighs> Please, rest assured I'll go through with the purchase. But I can't accept the memorabilia. I don't think I've defeated you. Completing your service is more important, right? Just consider it receiving your reward in advance. You can come back later and beat Asha Fair and Square. Yes, you're right. <sighs> I've become so concerned with the outcome of the competition that I've forgotten my priorities. <sighs> Thank you, manager. I'll keep the memorabilia. Spending my first gaming experience with you was truly wonderful. <sighs> I'll definitely come back here to fulfill my promise to win. I hope we run into each other again during my second, third, and fourth times playing. <laughs>
Leave it to me. Switch out. Stand still. Stay calm now. I'm scissors, you're paper. Island, switch out. Out of the way. Leave it to me. Stand still. Don't mess up my nails. How annoying. Get flushed! Stay calm now. 